Hey everyone, Taz from Critical Thinking Anarchist here. So this this pisses me off more than anything. I know I've been following the whole COVID thing since it started and just watching how they use numbers to lie. One of the most famous quotes, of course, is numbers don't lie, but people make numbers lie. People can use numbers in any way they want to make them seem different. So one of the things I just saw is that is that news media is trying to use numbers in a very misleading way. So recently they said uh, there have been roughly 7,000 breakthrough deaths among the 187 million vaccinated Americans. This meaning currently there are uh, over 700,000 people who have died from COVID-19 since the beginning. Now, let's just break this down a little bit. First, to be fully vaccinated... According to the CDC's website, you are fully vaccinated two weeks after your second dose in a two-dose series, such as the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines, or two weeks after a single-dose vaccine, such as Johnson & Johnson. Now, the COVID vaccine didn't start, at least didn't start being mainstream, until about you know mid-January, and even then... So that puts the people at the start of being vaccinated. That's, that's the people who are first approved. That's the people in the very elderly ages and severely immunocompromised. And that means the first people who were fully vaccinated wouldn't have been fully vaccinated until mid-March, early April. So you're talking several hundred thousand people. I mean, when Biden took over, we we're over 400,000 people who had died because of COVID or, well, COVID-related diseases, I should say. So that means since Biden took over, since we were 400,000 since then, and we're in mid-October now, we have had almost, hey, guess what? 400,000 people die of COVID-related diseases. So when you start looking at the numbers that was really going on, so we currently have 730,000 deaths as of October 22nd or October 21st. Back in March, we had 550,000 total coronavirus deaths. At that time, deaths were on a massive decline. So if you say, say starting April 1st, so starting after March, people then were fully vaccinated. Well, of course, you take 730,000 minus 150,000, and you have about 180,000. Now, 100, if you take... I believe it's 7,280, 7, we'll say. In fact, we'll just round it up to 7,300. Divided by 180,000. And it suddenly jumps from 1% to 4%. Now also consider that end of March was simply the first area of people getting vaccinated. You're talking, again, the elderly and the immunocompromised. So now we're looking at end of May, beginning of June, when we have people in the masses getting vaccinated. So as we see from this table here, you got 550,000, then you add on, then you add on another, say, 40,000. So we'll just round it up to 600,000 before you fully have people being vaccinated. So we'll just, again, we'll, we'll, round everything up so 700 or round everything to the nearest whole number so 730,000 minus of course 600,000 equals 130,000 and then you have 7300 divided by 130,000 and once again that number jumps up to 5.6 percent so we've gone from approximately one percent breakthrough deaths to almost six times that and again this is what the CDC considers, quote unquote, fully vaccinated. So this is two weeks after receiving their second dose or one dose of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. How can you even say that? Again, it's fun with numbers. So it's not like it's 7,380 people since vaccines have started, which then at least would put it at under 200,000 people that you're talking about as breakthrough cases versus unvaccinated cases. It's far, far more than that. And then, of course, again, you're again playing with numbers saying, well, technically they aren't fully vaccinated because it hasn't been two weeks. So a lot of these people have had at least one shot by the time they do die. 
If not, you know, they're within two weeks of their second shot, which is even more ridiculous. But they're not reporting numbers that way because that would be that would be counterproductive to what they're trying to achieve. And then you have one of the stupidest things that Biden has ever said. And he said a lot of stupid things so far. But he came out and said that General Colin Powell, who just died recently, would have died much sooner had he not been vaccinated. Well, again, considering that the vaccine came out, I mean, you could really technically go back to end of December. I don't know when Colin Powell received his first shot of the vaccine. But within the last year, and he just contracted COVID within the last couple months, what are, how much sooner would he have died had he not received the vaccine? I mean, you're talking a maximum span of 10 months from the first shot, provided he wasn't in the trials. A maximum span, a more likely span of somewhere around seven months from, again, from his first shot, and probably around four or five months since his fully vaccinated status. So how much sooner would he have died had he not had that vaccine? Two weeks? Two months? Three months? It, could, it couldn't have been more than like three or four months. My God. Why? Why? Why does anyone like this moron? Anyways, once again, people, thank you so much. We're almost at 100 subscribers. I was at 97 as of recording this video. We'll see what I am when I actually upload it. But thank you so much for liking. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate every one of you. I'm hoping to have something for, you know, at least at least a little bit of celebration for 100 subscribers. And hopefully we can get some more going here. And again, just thank you so much. I appreciate all of you and have a wonderful time until the next one. See you later.